How's it going, neighbors? This is Ed here with eTrailer.com, and we're taking a look at the BMW Tow & Stow Adjustable Ball Mount. Having an adjustable ball mount is a great option. Uh, it's a solution if you're finding yourself in a position where you tow a lot of different size trailers, where you're gonna have different heights. Uh, this is gonna allow you to make those adjustments that you need to safely tow to get to a flat level. The Tow & Stow is coated in a nickel-plated chrome that's gonna help you not only look nice going down the road, but it also helps prevent corrosion. Uh, your weight rating goes all the way up to 10,000 pounds with the two and five sixteenths ball. Uh, on the two inch ball, you're at 7,500 pounds and overall you're rated for a thousand pounds tongue weight. So that's very substantial. One of the best features about the tow and stow is the fact that you can flip over your ball mount and stow it underneath your vehicle when you're not using it. Let's get some measurements to see how much we're adding to the back of our vehicle. So from the center pin hole to the back of the shank here, uh, you're right at four inches. Going on center to the ball, you're right at 10 and a half, and overall right at 12 inches uh, added to the vehicle. So let's flip over our ball into the stow position and see how that affects our measurement. So you're just gonna remove your pins and clips, flip over, and then reinsert your pins. And as you see, that stows away really nicely. And you only stick out about five and a half inches from the pin for the receiver hole. So that's pretty compact. I mean, it's still a stinger. If you walk into it, it'll hurt, but that still takes a lot of space off of the back of the vehicle. Right now, we're currently in the stow position. So let's flip her over to the toe position. So I'm gonna remove our pins and clips, holding on to the ball, cause there's nothing that holds it other than the pins and watching out behind, cause that is a pinch point if you get your hand stuck in there. And we can make our adjustment to whatever our trailer coupler height is. And then reinsert our pins and clips. So now we're nice and secure. But say we don't have a big two and five sixteenths ball, we just have a, a two inch ball. We're gonna do a similar process. We're gonna pull out our pin and clip and just rotate our ball and reinsert. Now we're ready to go with our two inch ball. The tow and stow comes in a, a handful of different sizes for as you drop. This guy right here is a five and five and a half. So five and a half drop, five inch rise. And then this guy in my hand here is three and a half and three for your rise and drop. Uh, it's available also in a black finish instead of the nickel plated chrome. The black finish is a powder coat. So it's gonna hold up against the elements just as well as the chrome, just not as shiny. Out of the box, you're gonna receive the pins on the side for your adjustments and your stowing feature. However, your hitch pin that goes into your receiver is not included. Uh, generally speaking, it's been my experience beyond failure, the number one reason you're gonna to need to replace a ball mount is the fact that they tend to grow legs. So I would suggest adding on uh, additional lock. Uh, in my time here at eTrailer and Customer Service, B&W is one of the brands I recommend strongly. It's generally my go-to with most towing items. And another plus, it is made in the USA. This has been a look at some of the features on the B&W Tow and Stove Ball Mount. Uh, I'm Ed, this is eTrailer.com, and you have a great day.